three, two, one. Mabu hi, and welcome to the Philippines. Yes. So at the moment, I am currently in my quarantine hotel. This is gonna be a much shorter quarantine than my UK quarantine because I'm only quarantining for four nights as opposed to 10 nights in the UK. This is my 10th vlog now and I'm really excited to get to show you what Christmas in the Philippines is like. I know the POV of my vlog is sort of like international students in London, but a big part of being an international student is going back home for the holidays and I can't wait to show you this part of my life. I've been wanting to vlog for a while now, but because I just haven't had enough sleep this whole week, I was just not in the mood for it. Like, tired, and at the same time, I looked so stressed. <laughs> so today I got enough sleep. But the thing is, because I woke up so late and, you know, I really just wanted to chill. Now that I'm vlogging, it's now nighttime. And I really wanted to show you what this place looked like in the morning. But yeah, so before I get to show you what Christmas is like in the Philippines, we have the longest Christmas in the world. I have to quarantine first. So I'm currently in my quarantine hotel and I'll show you around. Okay, so let's begin our tour with the first room because this is compromised of two rooms. I swear I only paid for the standard suite, um, but I think they upgraded me. So I do have a living area, let me show you. So this is the living room. Um, there's also a desk over here. Hello. Um, but yeah, I never use this desk for some reason. So this is where I chill, this is where I eat. I've moved this table from the other room because this table was too low and I was not gonna break my neck. Um, but yeah, there's so many windows, honestly. For some reason, there is also a powder room. So let me show you the powder room. So this is the guest bathroom. I've never really used it. I've used it once. I've used it once because I thought it would be such a waste not to. Here it is. Yes. And yeah, so basically let's go to the main room. Welcome to the main room. Okay, so yesterday, just as I was about to enter this room, I got a knock, meaning that dinner was served. And I was like, you know what, let's just continue this tour tomorrow. Also, so you can see what this place looks like during the day. So, um, you caught me at a day when the weather was kind of bad and I am leaving tomorrow. So you won't get to see how it looked like when the sun was really shining and it was really nice. Like I literally would pass the time just looking out the windows and just like, you know, there are multiple views which meant that I was never bored, honestly. So I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna show you around this place. So let's go to the bathroom first. So here's the bathroom. Very spacious, so it has a tub and the shower. This toilet was broken when I got here. Um, and thank God that in England, normally agents take so long, so I've learned how to repair things and I just went on YouTube, opened this up, and I've managed to like sort it out because it was just like, it kept flushing, like the water just kept going. And I was like, I'm not gonna waste water that way. So let's go to the actual room now. Ooh, I love it. I think the sun's coming out a bit, lucky. there that's my room and now is just day five so excited for it to be tomorrow honestly um, I was supposed to avail of like the 1am testing a while ago which meant that I could have gone today but honestly like all these systems are so bad like they aren't clear with the information and all that but yeah I'm still hoping that I can leave by tomorrow <sighs> I was so sleepy and I was so ready to sleep. I've just been woken up because on my swab test status, yeah, it says that I haven't even been swabbed. And that's when I just lost it because I've been having so much difficulty with this swab company. And I know 
every single passenger arriving into Manila who's had to use them because they're the official swabbers have had similar experiences. Like, there's no clear process. Um, the info on the sites of PAL, the government, and even the lab, like, it's either outdated or, you know, there's just no clear info as to what the actual process is. Um, they said, PAL said there would be a link after you register, and they didn't make it clear that you literally had to look for the clinic's website. But they said it's fine, you don't even have to register and pay um, at the website before flying. You can register it at the airport. I get to the airport and there's no station. I get to my hotel and they say that you're automatically registered for a swab, you know? And then I check the system and it says that I'm registered. However, however, yesterday, because today was the swab day, Yesterday, good thing I started making calls because apparently I wasn't registered to begin with. And even the whole calling process took so long because um, they don't pick up, the numbers aren't clear, and everyone else says that. They like don't even try emailing them because you know who knows when they'll reply. And then even when they confirmed my swab appointment um, and they said that they would come anytime today. They just didn't. They said swabbing could start from 6 a.m. So I was up 6 a.m., no sleep. And I waited the whole time until it was five and I got suspicious. So then I called. And when I called, guess what? That was the only time they sent someone to me. And they even had to look for someone to send to me. What? There's so much more to this whole story as to why I hate this company. And honestly, like every step of the way, I was so nice to them. Like not once did I sound like annoyed. Sweet is even like the tone to describe it. Like honestly. <sighs> so then when I checked my status just now and I saw that, it was just like... <sighs> like honestly. Uh... So I'm staying here another night and hopefully my swab will be processed tomorrow. Even with all this stress, honestly, and all this lack of sleep, I'm just so happy to be back, honestly. I can't wait to show you Manila. I can't wait to be around people again. <laughs> um, so I'll update you tomorrow, and hopefully by tomorrow, I'm gonna be out of here. I'm basically calm now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna try to get some sleep now. They totally woke me up. Honestly, I was falling asleep already. I wanted to wake up early because I wanted to leave early too. And they just woke me up like that. <laughs> but yeah, okay, I'm gonna sleep now. So I can show you Manila and I can see my dog. Okay, just a quick update. I, I literally just woke up, haven't even brushed my hair. But I've already gotten my results. Apparently, it came a few minutes after I fell asleep and my brother was fully ready to pick me up until like 5 a.m. So I'm just mad about that. But like, I've just been having like the worst anxiety ever. And like, I haven't slept for weeks, which is so surprising why I'm still up. But it's because I was so stressed that I just woke up so early and then I checked and I have my results. So I was like, okay, sis won't waste any more time and I'm just gonna go. Okay, so I've just done a last minute check. I am ready to go. Ah, let's do this. <laughs> Maxim. Hello. <laughs> Max. Max. I love you. Hello. My way home. I love you, Max. He's been licking me and hugging me. <laughs> <laughs>
Maxim has been so happy this whole time. I love it. Oh, you happy? Huh? Mama's home? Yes? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Love you! So on my first few days out, I didn't vlog as much because I just really wanted to live in the moment. But I did so many things. We did like shopping. I ate all the Filipino food in the world. Yes, to eat. <laughs> I was so booked even before my flight to Manila. But one of my favorite things that I really got to do was basically we have um, a masseuse. He's, he's not really a masseuse. He's more of like a physical therapist. He comes by every week in our house. And I know he has a lot of like really high profile clients. And he also has clients overseas who literally fly him to their countries for a few days and pay for his whole trip. Cause he's so good. He massages you. He puts everything back to where it should be. And afterwards, you just feel like you have a new body. Like even breathing is so different. I was really happy I got to do that again because I used to do that weekly. Parang hindi ka anong masakit. Parang inexpect ko na mas masakit pa siya. Okay. Okay, so we are in the car on the way to the mall <laughs> to finish Christmas shopping. So we did some yesterday um, and then we had like just an event today. Sorry. LGBT? This morning, so now we're on the way to the mall to buy my Yaya's Christmas gift. Yaya, are you ready to shop? Yeah. So the rule is, me and Mick's gift to her is, like, she gets to shop, a specific amount so Mick has his own amount for her and I have my own amount but I don't mind like she can just like keep shopping like I'll style her a bit I'll style you a bit yai yeah. and then kung ano yung mabai natin there so I'm that will be excited. her excited ba say hi to my vlog yai <laughs> okay so yeah we're going to the mall now see you there <laughs> stopped by this eyewear store. I finally got prescription glasses for astigmatism. Hi, Ate! <laughs> oh, yeah, part ka, since you not know mo. <laughs> I love it. I'm picking my glasses. Then this is gonna be my driving glasses. <laughs> this is Nick's gift for Jean. So, because he always asks Jean to do things for him. Si Jean ang number one. Jean always deposits money for him. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jador, I like the smell of that. Tapos yung big size pa, no? Love it. Oh, friends, mag-hug na kayo. Hug naman, high five lang. Uh -oh. <laughs> so we're gonna take a break because I found out what my brother will give me. Because I can read his mind and he can read mine. <laughs> Um, so we're at the Apple store because he's gonna because I said let me pick the design since I already know but yeah they didn't have the exact thing I wanted in the Apple store so we're just gonna do it online and then my brother will just pay for it so now we're gonna go to your shopping the Baglo yes so what store do you want first Uniqlo or what Uniqlo. Uniqlo's our favorite store okay so we're gonna go to Uniqlo so Mick said she gets to have a higher budget because he accidentally spent a bit more on Dior <laughs> um, for Yaya's daughter because he just went to the counter and was like, okay. And then when he was ready to pay, he didn't realize how expensive it was. So he's going to up Yaya's budget too. So okay, Mick, you have 10 k okay? okay? And in me, you don't have a super budget, but let's see, okay? Okay. Let's just buy whatever we see. Yeah. <laughs> 
Go Glo. Okay, so we're doing mix 10,000 first before I buy for you. Yeah, ganyan yon. Here, oh, this one's so cute too. No? Okay, oh, ako na bibila ng sapatos mo. You need a basket or what? Let me carry my bag. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll carry my bag so you can hold your. So she thinks she's. Oh, na distract pa. So she was almost done na. She's done na sa Uniqlo. She's gonna fit. So yeah, basically, we're just gonna eat first. And if ever she still has cash to spend, we're just gonna like, you know, go to the mall close to us tomorrow. Libre daw niya today sa dinner. Mahal pa naman. <laughs> Everyone say thank you, Jean. <laughs> So Kiki is gonna open my gift in advance because I don't think they're spending Christmas with us. Come on, open! So I just picked as much. I didn't know what you guys had. I thought this was so cute regardless of the gender, right? I don't know, but we'll... Yeah, I got like, I got like random ones, you know. A towel. Look how cute this is, right? Ang rame, no? Oh, see? I'm so complete, diba? Oh my god! It's so cute! And then a bowl. This is like a chewer. And a bowl. If I'm gonna be fully honest, this is not what Christmas really looks like in the Philippines. I did miss quite a few events because I had to quarantine in the quarantine hotel. So I missed um, the staff Christmas party and I normally look forward to their best in costume. It's so good because they spend weeks trying to create like really cool costumes that my mom always ends up like not being able to choose an actual winner and just gives everyone like the grand prize but yeah even then like christmas is a bit different and it has been different for the last two years obviously because of covid and as you will see in the following christmas eve clips we've really just toned down our christmas this year it's just me and my family Normally, we have so many people over, we play games and all that. We don't even have like a proper Christmas tree this year. But yeah, anyway, it's still such a fun, like, intimate time. So yeah, here's our Christmas Eve. So, food deliveries weren't available, no catering available. So I'm cooking dinner. But it's been a bit of a mess. <laughs> because, yeah, it is. Nick, the audio's on me. The audio's on me. Oh, wait, wait, can you take this out? <laughs> okay, yeah, bye-bye. He needs to help. Okay, so it's time to give gifts and open the gifts because Christmas dinner is done. So yeah, we're gonna give a gift to the girls. Okay, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Um, Marimar. Oh, Okay. Oh, akin na. Sa'yo ang special na ano ha, kasi hindi pa yata kita nabigyan ng bag, di ba? And lucky it. Rhonda! Merry Christmas, Rond! Hi, Sally! We have lots of dogs. Max! Maxim! Merry Christmas, Max! Max! I told you not to open it without me! Do you like it? Yeah! You'll never lose a gun battle now, sis! Look how big that is! Yeah! You can definitely shoot Dodi now! You love Kuya Mick for getting you that? Who would ever give you a big gun, right? No one! Everyone gives you the same boring gift. Hello! Are you going now? Who's your prettiest apo? Point to your prettiest apo! Yeah! That's the way! Bye, see you guys. Yeah, come on, Max. Come here, baby. Yes. I got this too, did you? Ooh, no. Open my gift. I'm still gonna get you Heelys. That's one of my main gifts. Oh, shoot. Well, I got you a card that said, since you always complain about having hand-me-downs, I got you like a full clothes set from the shorts to the shirt to the Heelys. The Heelys is to follow. But do you like the shorts? I'm gonna show you my matching ones right now. My price pa? Sorry. Alam mo naman. You like it though, Jujutsu Kaisen? Look at the back. Look at the back. It's also complete with the spirits. 
Yes! And I got you way other things. I got you other things, but they're still arriving. But look at the Muay Thai shorts. Do you like it? I'll show you mine. I'll show you mine, but how do you like it, right? That's kind of expensive too, you know? You like it? Ah! <laughs> you always play tech. Nick. Nick. This is what I bought for me. Think small, yours is medium. It's supposed to be tight though. And short. But I, I thought you'd like like a gold one. Because you're not boring. And you know why I got that? It reminds me of your Tekken Geese customization. Do you like it? And Fakuram? Yeah. Ah! Every Christmas, there's like a box that drops down. And this time, Walapa? Oh my god. Do you think he's late? Oh my god. One more time, scream! Santa, where are you? Are you not? <laughs> Jupi, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> Jupi, that's our Christmas gift! Oh yeah! Give it to me! Oh, oh thank you, Jupi! Jupi! Oh. Dad wrote a letter to Santa? Yeah. Dear Santa, I love you. And this is mom's. Dear Santa, all I want for Christmas is a happy and complete family. Parang hindi nga gusto niya complete. <laughs> but where's Kiki? Oh, yeah, napagbigay. Dear Santa, please give me an elf on the shelf. She wants an elf on the shelf. Mick, can you teach us how to do this? I couldn't wait a while ago and I just opened my gift. This is my gift for myself. So this is one of my, probably my favorite jewelry brand. Um, I love the craftsmanship. This is Japanese and I love it because it's my favorite number. But also at the same time, I feel like the whole brand, like their designs and stuff really reflect my personality. Let me show you. So these are earrings. These crawl on your ear. So this is my first gift to myself. These are pearls, very delicate, love it. And my second gift to myself, I got myself some sunglasses because I do love sunglasses. Wow. Ooh. And this will go with like a lot of my digital media looks. And I feel like these two are like my two styles. Like sometimes I'm like really romantic, really like, you know, and sometimes it's like super futuristic. So yeah, these are what I got myself. Yay. Oh, you know, I didn't even realize that you were doing this for the vlog, but thank you. You want my white dog? Look at this face! 